We are here because we are dedicated to helping the entire CrossFit community. Determined to elevate coaches, box owners, athletes, and everything in between, we believe that this mission will begin right here, right now. While this time and this goal begins with you, our hope is that you take this fire ignited within you and weave it into your own life with the same unrelenting passion to give those you have the privilege of coming in contact with the best hour of their day. Back in your lives, the Fern and Ackerman show, we're changing the name of best hour of their day. We're going. Yeah, but I, well, the, the one thing you did right there was you led with my name. So that's good. It's, it's strange. Typically, I will tell you, you see a lot of like, Siegfried and actually that's backwards too. So I don't know why I went to Siegfried and Roy. Abbott and either. Costello, Abbott and Costello, maybe Laurel and Hardy. Where are you going with us? I was going to say a lot of times they're alphabetical order, but I guess I'm wrong. All my examples except for Abbott and Costello are wrong. Army and Navy A is first. No, but that's not people. Those aren't people. Think of one. I'm a person. <laughs> you are not the Navy. You are a Division One basketball player. We were. We were all that. We all represent the Navy. <laughs> Give me. You can't think of one. I guess I did mostly comedy acts or show acts, but can you think of one? Penn and Teller, alphabetical. Um, Dave and Tim, from music. Who's Dave and Tim? <laughs> Dave Matthews, just, Tim Reynolds. Oh, well, you have to give more than that. I was just like, oh, just no. if from you're a music. True fan, if you're a true fan, you know that one. Yeah, but nobody references, nobody says just says Dave and Tim. First of all, anybody that's listening to this that's a Dave and Matthews fan will know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I, listen, I'm not I going to the, that. I, I know have, we just, I have that, uh, I have that album and, and nobody ever refers it to as the Dave and Tim album. I thought we were going to be yeah, going to, yeah. Concerts right. together or not? Yeah. Ben and well, Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. I'm so much better at this game than you are. Anyway. Listen, you have to be better me at something eventually. And if it's usually <laughs> if it's useless trivia about shit that people don't care about, then I will gladly let you wear that crown. What do you think of twenty one point one? Speaking of things, I'm better than you at. Uh, what was your score? <laughs> I forget it was so so yeah. long ago. I don't it remember. It was so impressive that you forgot. Yeah. Uh I got better than you. I know that because we talked about it. I got two sixty. Which you were what? you got you got all but one double under of the one fifties. Correct. I, I made Did a talk about this already. I made a strategic show? error. I don't remember. But anyway, maybe you know, we're recording this on Thursday the eighteenth. It'll be out Friday the nineteenth. Any predictions? Dumbbell. That's it. Just that's it. It's good. That's Dave Cash is gonna that's come a, out and be like, that's "Today's workout." He's like dumbbell. Just do whatever you want for twelve minutes. Whoever gets the most reps wins. <laughs> pick a weight. Pick a movement. Go. Um, hey, constantly vary. Just see what people come up with. All right, I'll go with you on that. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 dumbbell snatches. Burpee over a dumbbell. Hmm. I I, I like that workout. Um, I just think that there's going to be a dumbbell involved in there because I, I think they're going to try to keep it as inclusive as possible before they thin the herd in week three. I agree. I think, I think you're going to see it simple, not simple as far as the workout goes, but simple as far as the movements, movement standards, et cetera. So I'm I going also to think we'll both be wrong. So I can have two, <laughs> th- <laughs> two thoughts. Yeah, at the two, same thing, time. two things should be accurate. So Today's episode titles Affairs in the Box. We're actually going to answer an email. We really don't answer a lot of emails anymore because we have our Patreon account, which is where we put out all of our question and answer episodes. So if you haven't checked that out, go to patreon.com forward slash best hour of their day. Here's the deal. It's $6. Most of you spend way more than $6. No, dollars. 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 American dollars. And most of you ever looked Which at is like, this bill? is like 480 euros. Is that right? Something around there? <laughs> they roughly, received, uh, roughly five pounds. Well, it, <laughs> half baked was like, but you ever look at a $20 bill? Hi. <laughs> um, so anyway, six of those dollars, you get one bonus episode every month for right now. We're actually looking to add to it, but we answer your questions. They're sometimes box owner related, sometimes coaching related, sometimes very personal 
So head over to patreon.com forward slash best hour of their day. If you enjoy the show for $6, you can support us and also leave us a review. After we asked for reviews last week, Fern, I think we got seven. seven. So we're well into the 200s. All of which were like, Fern is really good. And his co-host is that one, the show down. That one was signed Fern's mom. I did see that one. She is Fern's about some mom. iTunes. She is about some <laughs> iTunes reviews. Don't sleep. Is she? Don't sleep on Mama Fern. My parents were. Uh, I'll be honest with you. My mom that. probably has no idea I have a podcast. Like my mom, for the longest time, um, she's great. I love her. She's a wonderful woman. However, she, for I was in I was in the Navy for I think eighteen years total, like including like. The, the day I enlisted and went to prep school at Naval Academy, I was, I was, I was property of the, of the Department of Defense, you know, Department of the Navy. And my mom literally never knew what my rank was, never knew like what I was talking about for 18 years. It's a pretty big deal. Like that's not just like, it's, oh, it's not a big deal. Podcast. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just like, it, it's, it's funny because like she just never really understood it and, and, and was like wanted to know, but like also like didn't care, which is what I appreciate about my mom. She's just like, yeah, I don't really care. Like it's fine. You're my son and I'll see you as the little, I'll tell you, my mom thinks I'm the greatest person on earth. Right. So I used to sneak out in my room when I was growing up and uh, I used to go because my girlfriend lived like we could ride my bike to her house. So I used to sneak out at night and my room faced the street. We had these big iris plants in the um, right outside my window. And uh, I wasn't super savvy at like, you know, covering my tracks at that point. So all the, they were all trampled. And one day my parents were out doing yard work and my mom looks at the, uh, looks at the plants and she looks at my dad and she goes, so, but this is also funny. My mom's name is Debbie. My dad's name is Elmo. And she looks at, she looks at and she goes, Elmo, I think somebody has been sneaking into Jason's room. <laughs> ah, that is my, dad, funny. My, my dad looks at her and he goes, you're an idiot. <laughs> our, son's, our, our son's, our son is sneaking out at night. Like clearly the, 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 the irises are trampled away from the window, not towards it. So um, yeah, my mom thinks I'm a, I'm a good boy. Did you get in trouble for that? No, I never got caught. Look at you. Look at you. I was going to say earlier, yeah, my, my parents stayed with us and my stepmother, her friend writes books and she's like, the author of the books asked me to critique them on Amazon. I'm like, no, <laughs> she's asking for reviews. So you give her a, a nice review, but she, she's like, no, no, no. Anyway. Going back to the reviews. We reviews, got everybody. Reviews. If you wouldn't mind, please give us a five-star review. That helps us on Apple and iTunes. And wherever podcasts are hosted, I'm going to do Jay's job right now so we can get to the point of this show. Well, I'm, I'm not done. We heard yeah. from Nosehold. Yeah, Nosehold. We heard from him. Was it but he, resp he, responded, he responded on Instagram, too, I believe. I, that's where we saw him. He like commented. Oh, yeah. His name he wasn't on, the same. It was, slightly, it, was like, it was slightly different. And I was like, I think we found him. <laughs> You pointed him out. That was great. So shout out to Nozel. He didn't adjust his rating. I'm waiting yeah. on that. I gotta up, be bro. less I have to be less arrogant for that to happen. All right. So we're gonna answer a question because it was just a fun question and I think uh, interesting. Super sensitive situation. Please do not mention my name. Lots of asterisks. Julie from Juno. Julie from Juno. That's right. Alaska, Juno, Alaska. I don't know any other Junos, so that's a yeah. Hi guys, I listen to every episode and respect the advice you both give to us to help coaches grow. I am head coach at a box that has been open for going on four years now. Within that time, I have three new owners and I'm on my fourth now. Well, four owners. Twice. The In four owner, years? Yeah, so it sounds like. Seems not Tw good. <laughs> right? Twice the quote unquote new ownership was influenced by the married capital married owner having an affair with a member also not and good funny enough that member that was involved in two of the affairs and is currently on hold with their membership with plans to hopefully come back sometime soon so that member was involved in two of the affairs sounds like that member should not be a member anymore um <laughs> there's a there's a lot of things i don't like about this email <laughs> Here are a few of my concerns. I like how there's only a handful just a of concerns. Just a few, yeah, just a handful. I've, I have my own list of concerns that are more involved with the person right, sending right. this email than this gym. <laughs> I do want to go to this box now, though. I don't. She doesn't. She's very good. She didn't tell us where it is. 
Um, one, what are your thoughts on how you would handle that inappropriate situation? The former owner is still a coach at the box and is hoping this member will come back despite the majority of the coaching group saying it's a bad idea and they should not return. I, I, I don't know if I follow the situation perfectly, but it sounds like uh, my head coach of the box, twice the new ownership was, so a previous owner had this affair. They're no longer the owner, but they want their, uh, what's, a, your, what's the right term for side piece? Side piece? Side piece? Yeah. There's like, what, did you ever watch The Sopranos? What do they call I, them? I hung Sopranos? around with a group of ladies who used to refer to them as slam pieces as well. No, that's derogatory. We need to edit that out. Katie, edit that out. Um, what's I didn't the term come up this? with it. Those are a bunch no, of ladies. I, They're always the worst. What's the uh, term that this, there's a term in The Sopranos. It's like an Italian term. Oh, I don't know. I'm not Italian. You didn't watch The Sopranos? I did, but it was a long time ago. The last yeah. season came out in 2004, bro. I know we were talking when you have old people staying with you, all you do is talk about television. And with my parents, it's a lot of C that cable news. Oh, man. Okay. Number two, second concern. The new owner does not mind that the affair, which is still going on. Did I mention he's getting a divorce? Says, She's giving us enough information that I'm assuming yeah, somebody everybody's listening to this box. And like this is definitely our box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right. Which and is if there's like more, and if there's multiple boxes with this scenario, we need to talk about the state of affiliates. <laughs> the new owner, basically the new owner does not mind that this member is returning. Uh, so I think I understood the, the lineage already. We have had at least a handful of members leave the gym because of this drama. And within our small town, we are known as the cheater gym. That's a funny name. Not, oh not because God. they cheat reps. They, they, that's a, that's great. Hey, look, majority it, of, putting a so, qualifying statement on in front of that nickname, it doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the cheater gym. And, and by the way, whoever sent this in, I know we're making light of this and this is not a shot at you. So we will answer your question. However, we should acknowledge that this is kind of comical. Yes, and I'm sure you know. I'm, I'm. I'll write back to this person in the inbox and let it, let them know that uh, we covered it. But we yes, you. we're also. I mean, we haven't gotten to the answer yet, but it's also a podcast. We have to be mildly. One of us has to be entertaining. Majority of our staff feels that this coach slash former owner needs to leave the box since his choices and reputation are affecting our livelihood. But the owner does not want to quote unquote fire anyone. He believes that people will move on if we change the name of the box and just never talk. Let's sweep this under the rug. Um, I know this is a complicated uh, one, but I would love your opinion on this. Okay, Fern, before we, before we uh, answer this question, I got to remind the listeners to head over to Doc Spartan. DocSpartan.com. I know you don't, it's typically before we hit record how you're very complimentary of my beard and my hair. You say very nice things about it. Uh, you say how you wish you were manly and can grow a beard yourself. How you that wish you had is mine. that is actually a true statement. I do, do wish. You? I wish I do wish I could grow a beard. What's it like not being able to grow a beard? It's very frustrating. <laughs> you know what the frustration is? Is you still have to shave. Correct. Yeah, like you have just enough hair. Like right now, you have like a five o'clock shadow, but it's probably mm. been more like seven days. So, <laughs> three months. <laughs> I keep, I keep, I keep this kind of like goatee thing, kind of like two, like three days growth. That's that's kind of just. Oh, do you thing. shave around that? Uh, yes, I don't have to, but it does grow all. It does grow in kind of all like rednecky and, you know, Joe, Joe Dirtish. Yeah. I didn't realize you purposely. I thought that was just all you get. So you try your best to pretend like no, no. Have. So I can I can grow I can grow a legit goatee and I can yeah, grow you've had that in the past and I can grow some mean mutton chops, but I cannot grow a beard. Yeah, yeah the middle there's, the middle piece. There's no cur there's no connection. I mean, it's 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 quite literally Joe Dirt. Like I could just I, not shave and just look like Joe Dirt. You mean your I might, you mean your facial hair grows in all white and trashy like that? I'm like, yeah, man. I guess like. I might shave everything but those middle pieces just to support you. And then we can like plug in together when we're together. Like my middle pieces will sounded, fit. That sounded really uncomfortable. Um, but anyway, my, <laughs> it's like the Legion of Doom or the Road Warriors back in the day, their hair. Oh, yeah. One had a mohawk, one had a reverse mohawk. If mm -hmm. you like hawk and animal, those are my wrestling fans. God, man. Anyway, anyway. I always wanted to be Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Macho Man was my guy. Macho Man. 
Check out DocSpartan.com. Use the code Best Hour for fifteen percent off. Doc Spartan's owned by a veteran, a uh, military guy. He was on Shark Tank. He's actually the uh, regional guy for like the somewhere in the middle of the country. You know how they did the ambassadors? I don't remember which part. Oh, is um, he? He's like one yeah. of the affiliate ambassadors. Yeah, he's the yeah, liaison for, uh, or whatever the the title where's is. Where's his box located? I forget. Uh, Ohio. PK. Some. Yeah, I think it is Ohio. Yeah, Great dude, right. Dale. Yeah. Yeah. Google Shark Tank and Doc Spartan because I mean he was on there and CrossFitter veteran. I just got a delivery of some uh, deodorant and some facial. Just be careful though. If you and- wear these products, it could lead to extramarital affairs in the gym. So <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> going back. I'm to just that, kidding. Going well, there is Sex Panther. I use the Sex Panther lotion. Eighty percent of the time, it works every time. Going back to this, let's touch on it. So before we answer. Have you ever had an experience? Like, what's the most drama? I thought you were about to ask me if I've ever had an affair. <laughs> Have you had an affair? We all know the end. Good. Young Jess, shut, yeah, the, young, shut it off. Yeah, young Jess was like, nope, sorry. Have you had an experience like this? Like, what's the, what's the worst drama that's ever happened at CrossFit Right? If, you, if you're willing to share it. Hmm. probably well, we don't do drama this sounds a little weird but I, i've had to no, fire you shouldn't. Two, I've, I've had to fire two people members probably, or coaches uh coaches to had to fire one one for stealing and then the other one was um it was just time it, it, this person was basically wanted to leave but didn't want to quit and did everything they could that so that i would just fire them so that they, they could say i fired them which I'm fine with that's fine, you know. So, well, that's about it. I mean, stealing really at a crossfit box that's like a you don't hear that very often, it's very rare. Um, but you know, it, it's I wish them both well, and if they ever need anything, I'll help them out. You would help them despite the fact that they were stealing from your gym, they're not, they're not bad people, just bad decisions. I like that, that's very mature of you. I watched a um Lance Armstrong documentary, you know, one of the 30 for 30s, mm-hmm. and he said, you know something like along the lines of I'm not sure if there are bad people or just good people that make bad decisions. Well, there's definitely bad people. I've, I've, I've seen them, but the, uh, I think there's just people who are in bad spots in their life and, and make, and, and kind of lose the ability to have better judgment and, you know, because they're in a weird yeah. spot, you know, when you're a weird spot, you do, you do dumb shit. Yeah. Just like, um, actually, I don't know who gets this email, but did you get that email from HQ or from somebody this morning where it was basically about a, a CrossFitter in prison for, you know, and it was like not a bad person, just a couple bad decisions, right? Was was that in the affiliate update or was this a different I think one? It, I don't know. Like we get a couple, we, I, I want to say it was from Eric Rosa, but was I don't it, know for sure. Was it the, oh, that wasn't today. No, just this morning I got it. Oh, Let me see. Oh. Yeah, it was from Eric. It was a forward. I think he got it from somebody. But basically, I've seen yeah, this dude one. before. Like today? Yeah, we just got it at. Uh, oh 12, no, never mind. I'm, I'm literally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You see it, it literally just but, came through like, like four yeah. minutes ago. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, he see what he does. What Eric Rosen see, he sends me emails first, <laughs> then right. second tier staff. <laughs> right. <laughs> got the email. <laughs> um, okay, so. Let's give some advice to this person. I mean, I think we're both really going to have the same advice right off the get-go. I'm not sure what other advice there is in this scenario, to be very frank with you. Well, and and in fairness, this person almost, it's like they don't ask for advice for them. So it's weird because I I, I think I speak for Fern on this one. You need to leave this box. Well, that's a tough, that, that's tough because this sounds like this is her full-time job. Oh yeah. Or is that, it, well, do we know who head it is? Coach. I don't know. I don't know that. this person. Okay. Actually, anyway, it could be a guy is, girl. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, anyway, either way, it actually doesn't matter. Email, but I, I think I know this person from Instagram. I think I've seen her. Oh shoot. Him, him or her on Instagram. Anyway. Um, so the name looks familiar, but <laughs> the point, you're the right. point is, the, the point is that like head coach. Yeah. So. That doesn't mean that they're full time. The okay, but let's let's assume that it's a at least it's significant with regard to 
income. Is that fair? Well, that, yeah, and that that that. If it yeah, is, this is a harder decision. If it's not, it's a little bit easier in my mind, at least. Um, but yeah, we're probably both going to say, you know, like you, if that doesn't change like that, that's just a ticking time bomb. Like, I don't know how else to say that. Like that, that will come to a head at some point. Uh, it, and it'll actually be like a slow festering infection that you won't know is really bad for another four to six months when like you've realized that like there's multiple other like crazy things going on in the gym. And then you're just like, what happened? And you're like, we remember six months ago when you should have done the right thing and you didn't, and you're like, yeah, that, that kind of deal. Well, and I think ultimately it's one of those things where one, when, when you find out something like someone's having an affair and multiple, it's rare that like, Oh, I've heard of all of them. Like, no, there's still seven. Right. You know, it's like when someone comes out about there will be another abuse, one. It's not yeah, yeah. one. It's like, right. you that's know, just the lot. first time they got caught. Yeah. And when one person speaks, you know, all the other people will come out of the woodwork. And then secondly, I think if you're having this conversation and, and thoughts now, it's a matter, you're not going to be having this conversation because the cheater gym does not succeed. I mean, just the in other words, that, that is a gonna, po- like that that is a nickname, right? Like, yeah. Point is, it's going to close down. I, I mean, I, I said that too abruptly. It it may or may not close down, but if your gym is known as the cheater gym and there's all this drama going on, chances are there's not going to be a whole lot of growth. How about we put it that way? Like, That's you, there's probably a lot of upward. There's not a lot of upward momentum left to be had. You may maintain your membership. You may even slowly grow in time, but it's not going to be, you're not going to be working for a reputable organization. And then, you know, I think ultimately you have to put, and I, you know, I don't want this to come off as harsh for this person because I don't think it's, I'm making it sound a lot more simple than it is, but having gone through similar experiences recently, and then just in life, you have to decide, you know, what is your integrity worth? If this is something you wouldn't do, don't want to stand for, think is wrong, but your job is there. At what point is I'm getting paid, you know, 20 or $30 a class and blah, 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 worth turning a blind eye to this. I th- here, so this, here's this person's responsibility. This person's responsibility is the head coach. I don't know what that means. It could mean head coach, it could mean GM. It could mean neither of those things. I'm not really sure. Um, however, this person is aware and everybody's aware. As somebody who exists in this hierarchy that is the box, their responsibility is to go to the top and speak your piece and say, Hey, here's what I see. Here's what I think needs to be done because here's what I think is going to happen unless we do, unless we don't address this. Uh, and I think all of these things. And when you do that, I think you, you need to have a couple things in play. Like what's the short-term plan? What's the medium term plan? What's the long-term plan? Because maybe you don't walk out that day if they don't do what you want to you don't want to go in there and like give demands but maybe you have to have like a backup plan and say i'm going to try to get out of here within the next i don't know six months if this continues to get worse because it's i mean it sounds really like the toxic environment where but where lots of people are uncomfortable not just coaching staff but like potential members and um it just sounds very 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 toxic so the first thing you have to do is you need to go talk to the owner and, and it sounds like maybe the, this well, the owner did. is, the owner is not for the record, the pers- person having the affair, it sounds like. No, no, I know. But the owner needs to, needs to be aware like of how, how significant this impact could be. And then just, and then because, and that the entire coaching staff feels the same way and that there's multiple things going on in there. So <clears throat> I know well, they and, have not and, fired a client, but like, this is, this is a scenario where it, it's like the right thing feels uncomfortable, but if said differently, it doesn't feel as uncomfortable, which is like, I don't want to fire this person because it's going to be uncomfortable for me. But if I said it differently, I was just like, you're going to make a hundred people super unhappy and uncomfortable because you don't want to say no to this person. Well, and I want to touch on that. And I will, before touching on that, I will say, I think we're afraid to have this dialogue with the owner and the owner, you know, granted this person says, you know, the owner, uh, you know, wants to let him back, blah, blah, blah. 
sometimes it's just that communication. Hey, I don't think you realize what that does for the community, what that could potentially do. And the owner may just be like, my head has been so buried in Wattify or the open and planning for this. I didn't even think about that. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. So we're sometimes all, just also afraid to have this conversation because we're afraid the owner is going to be upset or whatnot. When in reality, you're doing you're, you're doing the owner a disservice by not bringing it up. And then, you know, something that came up recently for you and I on our Q and A calls, and we won't use our uh, member's name, but they had a similar situation. It wasn't it wasn't cheating or anything. But sometimes you have a former owner or a former coach that caused a little bit of drama, wants to come back. And, you know, whether it's your coaching staff or your membership base, they may or may not be thrilled with it. And, if, and uh, you know, we always say, one, you have to protect your coaching staff. If you have coaches that are unhappy by this, they need to be protected. They're your, they're your team. Like if you're not willing to protect your team, you know, th yeah, that's this, you don't, you don't, you don't have a team. Exactly. And then secondly, as an owner, you know, and going back to the advice here, sometimes they're like, Hey, it's $150, $180, $200, whatever the membership rate is. I can't turn that down. Very short sighted because that one person could cost you five, 10, even more. I mean, you could see a mass exodus if the wrong person is allowed back, you know, it's a whole adage of one bad apple spoils the bunch. You need to avoid that. And just by the fact that we're getting an email like this, it's not, it's just like we said earlier, it's rarely one person. It's usually one vocal person and 20 members lined up behind them. They're just not saying anything. But even if it is one person, just like why? Yeah, you're right. What, like what is the, what is the, what is the, val there is no plus side of letting this person back in, right? It's, it's solely good. It solely works for them and nobody else. Like this does not sound to me like anybody else this brings any value to the, to the, to any members, to the staff, to the community, other than this person just wants to come back in the gym because, you know, that's their, you know, that they're quite frankly, their watering hole, you know, where they go in there and they, you know, create drama and, and, you know, pray. And um, so even if one person's uncomfortable, at best, it's a net zero. That's a best case scenario. Like this person comes in, I get to keep the 150 right. bucks and, and then somebody traded, else leaves. And I've traded, I've traded a good one for a shitty one. So it's just like, right. you've traded for a, I mean, that, and again, that is for best a, you case traded an scenario. An for a, you traded an Ackerman for a fern, if you will. Yeah. So that's a serious downgrade. We all, re we all realize it. Like, <laughs> right. The fern is the downgrade, right? No, you, that you said it wrong. So yeah, which proves my oh, point. The, uh, so yeah, best case scenario is you've just traded a good client for a bad one and you're, and you net out zero and it's like, that's not a net zero. That's a, that's a net negative. Gotcha. Gotcha. Exactly. So let's give some tangible advice to this person. Let's like truly like, okay, we got this email. Step one let's go together. I would say one, reach out to the owner. Can we have a sit down? If they, you know, COVID based zoom is fine. If not at the box, I would actually say not at the box. Can we grab a Starbucks? Can we sit outside somewhere, et cetera? I would and bring you depending on, so this is a little, this is depending on gender issues. Right. So meaning like wh whoever identifies as what it is not the point, but like if this is a male female conversation, I would bring a third party, preferably another staff in here, just so that I have one more person privy to the conversation that was there. I, I, I like that. I always think it's smart when you're going to have a very touchy conversation or situation to have someone else, you know, unbiased, and make it very clear, like, hey, I just wanted somebody else to hear this. So, so if it get if it gets out there, uh, you know, somebody I had to heard do this. It, or I had to do this. I had to do this with. Uh, I we did have a, a stalker, like a like a no kidding stalker for one of my coaches. The coach was a guy. The stalker was a female. She's a she was like legit crazy. If I if I read some of the things that were were sent over, they were nuts. And I had to so I had to bring her in and basically fire her. I was like, you cannot come here anymore. But I so but I brought another female in with me and I recorded the conversation. You and have like, to in those hey. situations. And I was like, listen, you so the in the scenario is like, you know, now this is not the conversation with the client or the this problem 
person, but I do think you should bring one other person to give a little bit of more validity to the conversation that you're about to have with the owner and say, collectively, we all agree. And Bob here is here to let you know that this is not just me and my feelings. Like this is a lot of people feel this way and you, I don't want to make this perfectly clear. Yes. So. No, I think having someone there is great, but it starts with setting up that meeting, showing up to the meeting prepared. You know, we've talked about it many times in affiliate you whole message. I see, I think I feel I want, Hey, I see that you don't care that this person's back. Maybe don't say, I don't care. Hey, I see so-and-so is back. It's gotta be black and white. Um, I see, I think, I think that's a problem. I think we may lose members. I think, you know, it's, I think uh, members are going to be upset by this. I feel like you don't understand the, the stress that she's causing, not just our community, but our, but our um, coaching staff, et cetera. And I want you to not allow Dress her it. here. Yeah. yeah I, I would, um, I would, I would go with the solution and be like, we would like you to tell this person that they cannot come back to the gym. Shoot. Never a bad thing to communicate. I think people ask, I get a lot of questions, by the way, Fern. How do you deal with Fern? How do you put up with Fern? You know that I get those? Did I tell you I get those? I mean, I don't understand the questions, but. First of all, what I always tell them is A. How many? No, now I'm curious. How many do you get? At least twice. At least twice that's happened. Ever. Um, one Again, of them is from a mutual friend of ours. So like that yeah, one I already knew about, one. right? Like, <laughs> I think I've told you about one. Um, no, I, I, he's, that's probably the only one. But I do get a lot of, and I'm sure you get the same, like, what do you guys do well? How do you guys, you guys seem to be great. You have a great partnership, which we do. Um, and I would say one, it's because you're much nicer off the air. You compliment me a lot. And mostly you have a great wife who sent us a tremendous amount of gifts for Madison. Like every day, a That's new gift was showing up. But 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 more importantly, it's just that we talk, we communicate both pros. When you're upset with something, you address it. When I'm upset, we're happy. We talk a lot too. Um, but point is, communicate. I think whether it's dealing with a box owner, a coach, a member, or your spouse or your business partner, people are afraid to talk. And I think the reason we're afraid to talk often is we're not showing up with that plan. If you show up with a plan and think about it versus letting your, that plan also prohibits emotion. Yeah, it, this, and so typically what will happen is if I'm doing something and I'm trying to do this head on and the, and the person doesn't want to deal with it, it's because they don't want to deal with the conflicts the conflict yeah. that would unfold by addressing said and sub by said scenario. Um, so if you're pushing, you're pushing, pushing, you're like, no, 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 no. It, understand that, that person is afraid. They're scared. And only with that, but we do have to understand like they are afraid to have the conversation because of the level of comfort that they have, or more importantly, the level of discomfort that they have having that conversation with another person. And it's just something to consider when you're, when you're going through that. It's like, it's not that they don't want to address it. It's that they're scared. And that, that is the, that is ultimately like the, the real, the real thing that is holding this up is fear. Fear yeah. that something will blow up and then this will get way worse than it's supposed to be. There'll be this massive fallout. Um, so, you know, what you could do is kind of redirect the fear. So it's like, Hey, you could do this. Or this could happen over here, which is probably actually more likely. And, and that goes back to something you've said many times. Don't just bring a drunken monkey. Right. Right. Show up. I think that's part of this is you're showing up. The I want statement is you're showing up with a solution and a very specific solution. You're not just saying, by the way, there's a lot of drama. People mm -hmm. are upset. Peace. I'm out of here. Yeah. You should fix that. Fix it. Yeah. Handle it. So anyway, have this conversation. Have somebody else there show up with a plan. That's really one A, B, and C. Um, and if you I really want to go the extra mile, show up and be like, I've recruited a new member. If you're worried about the membership that you're going to lose, be like, right. Just yeah, like, that's a group. I've replaced it already. So can we move on? And, you know, and then ultimately, I think you said this earlier. It's like you need to have a backup plan because the fact that you're emailing us 
shows that you're not okay with this. And if your owner is not willing to move forward the way you want, you need to determine, you know, is my head coach position more important to me than being at a box that makes me feel good? Because this box, if you really break it down, does not make you feel good. Because you're not, you shouldn't be writing an email to us. Well, that ownership trend is, is alarming, number one. Four owners in four yeah. years, roughly. I mean, should happen though, right? Deployments or careers what? and uh, et cetera. It's not. Yeah, you're shit right. does happen, but you're that right. is that is very very odd. It is very very odd and and not good. And ba so basically, what that tells me, and I'd be willing to to bet that I'm at least mostly accurate here, is that that this is a crap sandwich that keeps being handed off to the next person, and they're just and they're just swapping money for crap sandwiches like at very very low dollar value yeah tell this box to reach out to affiliate you you can set up a free <laughs> consultation call oh, link in the bio nope <laughs> this is one of those yeah. ones where i'm like nope we can't help you <laughs> i know fern's always like we're not working with this box <laughs> so uh yeah but hey you never know i i would i'll i would take this box on this is like where if you were an attorney, you'd and be by, like, I'll take and a by box. take the box on, he would be like, we take him and be like, hey, Fern, um, do you mind taking this? this, this <laughs> Can you? Uh, no, um, this is like where attorneys take cases pro bono, where they're like, this is a good case. Um, I think we could turn this shit around. You know, I think I, I think we could turn it around. And and you know, and I want to say to the person that wrote this, while well, step number two was have a backup plan. You know, step number three is what are you doing to make this better? You know, and that goes back to one. But like Fern said. Are you recruiting new members? You know, are you stoking the flames of the drama? Or are you putting them out? I mean, I, I, I don't, don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with this person just having a convert. Like if, if let's just, let's just say you have no authority here, right? Like there's nothing to say that you can't have that conversation with this person. That's the problem. And just say, listen, if you cause problems, I'm going to kick you out of my class. Yeah. You know, I would say, <laughs> Don't go over the box owner's head. You know, maybe throw that in there, like at in the meeting. Like, hey, if you're not doing this and it's a problem, I'm going to say something. You should. You're the head well, coach. You should have that authority. You should have the authority, and and to some degree, this is one of those things where if if you're the head coach and you are, you know, shouldering most of the workload, I'm pretty sure push comes to shove that the owner's going to side with you. Be like. You know, if you were to kick this person out, I'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, this guy, this guy or gal is a massive turd and it's messing up the gym and it's crushing the vibe and people are leaving. So I told them to go away and they're like, well, I'm going to fire you. And I'm like, cool. 80 classes a month are yours. Good luck. And they're like, but I have yeah. a full-time job. And, and I'm like, yeah, not my fucking problem. And by the way, the members love me and they're all going to go wherever. Yeah. I'm I starting am. my own gym. It's, it's CrossFit, not cheater gym. <laughs> exactly crossfit uh integrity <laughs> Ooh, i like that i was gonna say what's the term for uh monogamy cross and monogamy anyway cool well i think we answered that question if, if for the person that wrote that uh please let us know what you think i'm gonna write back to them and let them know we're answering it on the episode and i think this goes you know while in this episode we it was basically you know quote unquote cheating Cheating just represents drama, really. Like, yeah, any drama, drama it doesn't it doesn't have to be this, <laughs> right? To the extreme, but whether it's cheating on your significant other, or cheating on reps, and or cheating, you know, the books and stealing, uh, you know, it's just something that needs to be addressed. It needs to be communicated, and ultimately, you need to decide where you draw the line in life. So, like we said earlier, we typically answer these on Patreon every month. So. Check it out, patreon.com forward slash best hour of their day. Check out Doc Spart. And, and lastly, if you're watching this video, which most of you are not, I know most of you listen to our podcast, you would notice I'm wearing best hour of their day merch. Fern is wearing- And I'm wearing a coach shirt because that's what I do. Coach shirt. But you can check us out, best hour of their day.com forward slash merchandise. We have t-shirts, tank tops, zip up hoodies, uh, baseball sleeve. What are they Underwear. called? Baseball jerseys. Underwear? We don't have underwear yet. We're oh. working on a thong, but we do have a new beanie. So if you a haven't already, a men's thong. Men's. That's what I'm. You can't see that, but I'm wearing that. So check it out. All that good stuff. We appreciate your support. You guys are the best. You allow us to do what we do, and we hope that we help your day, and we hope that we've just given you the best hour 
of your day for Fern, for Ackerman. Anything to add? Good luck, Julia and Juno. (laughs) So you never miss an episode of the podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and on all major podcasting platforms at Best Hour of Their Day. Thank you so much for tuning in and for being a part of the best hour of our day. See you next time.